Hi folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful 2019 Toyota 4Runner. This is the TRD Pro. I'm going to take you for a look on the outside, show you all its features, its design, tell you about its specs. And Nathan is going to take you on a tour of the inside and show you the technology and the interior of this vehicle. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. We'd like to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful 4Runner. Forerunner is one of the last body on frame SUVs left in the market. And some may say it's a bit old school, but I gotta tell you, I don't think the buying public thinks that. They sold 138,000 of these in 2018, and so far this year they've sold almost 34,000 of these in just three months. So, old school maybe, but I gotta tell you, they don't build them like this anymore. And 2018 was its best sales volume year ever. This thing's built to last. There are seven trim levels to this vehicle. The SR5 starting at 36,985. The SR5 Premium starts at 38,815. The TRD Off-Road 38,285. The TRD Off-Road Premium 40,195. There is a Nightshade Edition starting at 45,165. The limited trim edition starting at 45,460. And this is the TRD Pro starting at 46,615. It does have a four liter V6 producing 270 horsepower and 278 pound foot of torque. And it is driven with a five speed transmission. Typically fuel mileage on the rear wheel drive only is 17 city 21 highway on the four wheel drive is 17 city 20 highway. Now again we talked about how this is kind of old school well with that old school you get that body on frame and you get the safety and technology uh, of old school which gives you a four star overall rating from the National Traffic Safety Administration. This vehicle is equipped with skid plates and I'll try to get up underneath to maybe get a shot. Uh, let's see, there we go. TRD written on the skid plate, you can see that. It does have other skid plates as well. Uh, we talked about the hood scoop up there. Let me get back over here to the sunny side. You can get four, uh, 17 to 20 inch wheels. And these are the uh, big grappler off-road. And they are 265-70 R17 rubber. And I want to get in here and show you as well. Uh, if we can, it is the Fox shocks on the front and TRD tuned front springs. It is double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension. Four wheel disc brakes and ABS are standard. Do get the tinted windows. You get a black roof rack. Now on the back end, the rear brake lights and tail lights are LED. Turn signal and reverse lights are incandescent. And also the high mount third stoplight is LED. Big bold forerunner labeling there. See the detail on the uh, bumper step. And then you also have the uh, trailer hitch. Tailpipe here. Nothing exciting about that. It's just functional, does what it needs to do. Now, because this vehicle does have a roll down rear window here in the gate, uh, they have to have a hideaway wiper the rear window and I'm not sure if we can really translate that well and see it up in there but it is a hideaway wiper and one of the cool features is a safety feature is uh, when this window is down it locks out that wiper so even if you turn the control on it's not going to work uh, there's no sense in wiping air I guess but it is a safety feature 
Now on this vehicle, there is no power lift gate available. And a full size spare tire is located under the rear of the vehicle. You can see the edge of that. Now its towing capacity is 5,000 pounds. It does have also hill start assist, multi-terrain select and crawl control. And I'm sure Nathan will go over that with you inside and show you those features. It's approach and departure angles, 33 degrees uh, approach, 26 degree departure. It does have a ground clearance of 9.6 inches, locking rear differential as well. Now its overall length is 191.3 inches. The height is 72 inches, width on the vehicle 75.8 inches, and it rides on a wheelbase of 109.8 inches. Its curb weight is 4,700 pounds. Now I wanna take and pop open the hatch and give you a look at the cargo area. Okay, you can get an optional third row in this vehicle. So the cargo for the five seat model is 47 uh, 0.2 cubic feet behind the second row and 89.7 cubic feet behind the front row so all seats folded with the optional third row the cargo is nine cubic feet behind the third row 46.3 cubic feet behind the second row and 88.8 .8 cubic feet behind the front row now there is an optional uh, pullout tray that is not on this vehicle mounts to the uh, load deck floor back there and it will slide out and it's capable of holding up to 440 pounds i'll show you the power outlets back here rugged this vehicle keeps its resale value and part of its overall simplicity of build is what does help it keep its retail value rugged handsome good looks go anywhere capability especially this trd pro I just just fantastic I like around the windows that uh, you know like on this third window back here it's flush mounted you don't get any trim around it makes it really clean looking and around the windows here it's all blacked out beautiful beautiful love it like the wheel fairings Again, I just love the front end of this vehicle. Get you over here to the sunny side. We had a late winter storm here in Minnesota, so we've got another big snow pile out here. You see it's got the uh, fantastic large tubular roof rack on it. And this vehicle does have a sunroof as well. And there's Nathan making faces at us. <laughs> now to get in this vehicle, again, it's definitely old school. You, the key fob, uh, the head of it is built into the key where uh, it does have the buttons to lock and unlock. But coming up to the vehicle, there are no sensors. There's no sensors on the outside to touch. There's no sensors on the inside. And for you younger folks, this is how you have to do it. You actually take the key and you insert it into the keyhole and turn to lock or unlock. Or on the head of the key like i said it's a button to lock and unlock from a distance then once you get in and nathan again will show you this in a few minutes there's no push button start there's no proximity you actually take the key you stick it in a keyhole ignition you turn the vehicle to start and when you're done you turn the vehicle to turn it off but again old school it's going to last. It's going to last a long, long time. And it... On the inside of the 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, we start here with the doors. You get your typical window controls. They are auto up and down, all four windows. Okay, you've got a little bit of storage right in here, right about that deep. Down here, you've got a couple of cup holders or bottle holders, a little bit of storage back here. On the driver's seat, you have eight-way power plus a two-position lumbar. On the passenger seat, you have four-way power. These are nice, nice leatherette seats here. Love the red stitching. Carries over into the center console there. Okay, coming back over here to the driver's side, 
You've got your typical mirror controls, your dashboard uh, dimming control switch. You've got your on off for your 100 watt uh, outlet. And down here you have your heated windshield wipers. Down here you have your hood hood release. And you do have a nice footrest down here. Park push pedal parking brake. Moving up to the dashboard. Okay, you got your RPM gauge, you've got your speedometer, you got your um, temperature and your fuel gauge and then your uh, gear selector indicator up here and then you've got a small uh, digital driver's information center okay that one will give you the following and then we're back to here okay uh, on the steering wheel over on the left here, you've got stereo controls. Uh, you've got a press and hold to mute, or you can just click it to change modes and a back button. Over here, you've got your phone buttons and your um, voice recognition button here. This button here will access Siri on your phone if you have an iPhone, if you push and hold. Okay, and that, of course, is a hang up button. And then the display button here is what I was clicking to go through all the stuff in the driver's information center. All right, moving on over here to the center. You've got a clock. You've got a nice, easy-to-use manual hour and minute reset there. And you have your vent controls and a nice big hazard button right in the middle. So here we have a 6.1-inch screen, uh, eight speakers, and uh, very easy to use. You have your audio button here, which is the screen we're on. You've got the different apps that you can use. So you got navigation, audio, uh, your phone, messages, weather, traffic, and setup. Um, this, this is really nice to have the traffic and weather, uh, especially as you're driving. The one thing that's really, I think, the first time I've seen this is the maintenance one. So let's just quickly take a look. So although you have to manually enter the information, you have settings here to keep track of your engine oil, your oil filter, your rotation of tires, uh, tires itself, batteries, uh, transmission fluid, brake oil, coolant, wipers, brake pads. It's just, I mean, it's a huge list. Then you can set a dealership down here. So just to show you, if I go to engine oil, okay, you would have to manually enter when you change the oil and the distance you want to go. And then this will automatically recalculate how much time is remaining or miles are remaining. But what a menu. And then there's a reminder thing that you can turn on or off. So the most thorough uh, maintenance thing I think I've ever seen. Okay, uh, moving on here, we've got your uh, manual seek buttons and track buttons. You got a, a manual tuning button here. You got manual power and volume over here. Down here, you have a single climate zone control. Uh, you got your mode settings here. You've got recirculatory here. You've got your fan speed here and your temperature setting over here. All very nice big buttons. They've got grips on the edges, so they're very easy to hold. Even with gloves, they'd be very easy. Hey, you got your rear uh, window defogger along with your mirror outside mirror defoggers. Moving on down here, you do have your USB plug-in for your phone or a 3.5 millimeter jack for a uh, audio plug-in. You do have a 12 volt outlet right here. You have a small cubby here and another little bit larger one down here. Down here, you've got a, a single cup holder up here. And then back here, you've got another single cup holder. And then down here is like a storage tray. And what I discovered earlier when I was using my phone was I have a fairly large phone. And if I don't have a cup in here and I just use the front one, I can my phone goes right. They've cut a channel right in here, which is really neat. So my phone sticks out about here, but it lays in nice and comfortable. Okay. On the shift knob right here, uh, right before it, you've got like another little coin tray or something, a little storage area there. Okay. You got your... Um, 
call this a jog stick. There's other terminology for it, but you have to push it over, and then it kind of walks down. And then you do have a sport mode where you just push the gear lever over, which is, I'm already in, that's drive, that's sport. Then you can manually go back and forth and shift. Those gears do show up on your dashboard when you do that. Okay. Back here, you do have the awesome feature that is the rear window uh, switch. The rear window goes completely up and down. And it's one touch. You do have heated seats right here. And you just kind of slide the control as to wherever where the temperature setting you want is. And one for the passenger as well. Okay. I should mention, this being a TRD Pro, that this is your shift for four high, four low, and two wheel drive. So it's a simple straight back for four high, and then over and up for four low. In conjunction with that, right up here, you have some really awesome controls. So starting over here, once you're in four wheel drive, you can turn this on. This is your uh, um, mode control for what you're driving through. So if it's, uh, I'll show you here on the dashboard, the different modes you got. So mud, sand, dirt, loose rock, mogul, and rock. Now, you do have to push this button on to get that. The other really cool thing, a couple of really cool things it has. Traction control button on off is up here, but it also has a traction control. So when you're in four low, you can activate that traction control and helps to keep your wheels from slipping even more. This is your rear, the rear differential lock. And then here is a really cool thing. Um, and we'll, we'll link to another video that shows a, a Toyota Tundra using this same feature. But basically, if you get stuck uh, up to your belly in sand or mud, okay, what this does, you, you have the four low on, and this works four to reverse, but this sets your speeds. So you basically have one, two, three, four, five speeds. That's like one, two, three, four, five miles an hour. And it just slowly moves the tires all on its own and and, and will we'll help you to climb out of a, a really stuck position. Moving on back here, you've got your home link controls up here. You've got your door lights. So do they come on when the light doors are open or closed or just they don't come on with that? You do have a sunroof in here, or a moonroof, I'm sorry. So you can slide that all the way open and close. You've also got your up or down switch for that. And then you do have your reading lights up here. The visors do have a light and a mirror. They are also, they, tell us, they do telescope, but they telescope a little differently. This little piece pulls out of the side, provides with some really nice extension, really long. Moving back on down here to the uh, center armrest, just lift it up here. You've got some. You got another 12 volt outlet down here. You do have a removable piece right here that kind of gives you a second storage area up here, and then one down in here. Very deep. Over here in the glove compartment, it is lockable, by the way. Hey, you've got a nice, um, a nice look in the cab here, the hard touch materials. Except for when you get over to the sides of the doors, then, then they are soft touch. Hey, right, we're gonna take a look in the back. Okay, so here in the back of the Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, we have your rear door here. It looks very much like the driver's door. Got a little storage up here. You got a bottle holder, a cup holder down there, some extra storage there. You do have nets in both seat back pockets, which is very nice. Uh, your vent controls. And then down here, you do have two 12 volt outlets. The rear seats have the beautiful same red stitching on there. Um, they look very nice. 
And if we just pull down the center console, you've got another two cup holders there. There is a better view. And they got nice rubber inserts, so they do pull right out. So you can clean them. All right. It's a 6240 split seat. So the way that works is you first take and pull the seat up. Okay. Then you go back here. And the arm of the headrest has a lever, and you just pull that down, and that folds. And then there's a little push button right here. You push, and then the seat folds flat down. And then that one does the same thing, it's just that that's the 60% portion. Okay, sitting in the back of the uh, Toyota here, I've got ample headroom. I've got several inches. They've again kind of like the pickups. Uh, recess this roof part here for your head okay as far as my legs go i the seats left where i had it i'm about five foot eleven and a half i've got about four inches of space very comfortable and i have to say the rear seats are quite comfortable back here would make for a nice ride all right so that's a review of the interior and next let's take it for a ride this is effortless. I really expected more of a harsher ride and more of a truck bumpy feeling to this. Yeah, oh, this is pretty this darn. It's very darn comfortable. It's very nice. There we go. There There's the grunt. You hear a little bit of tire roar now, but I mean it's a big box on wheels, so you're gonna hear some outside but not noise. what you expect to hear no, and it's a windy day today too and being that it is upright and boxy it is not as loud as i thought it would be there either i love i mean it's i know you talked about it but it's you know there are some hard plastics around there's a but, lot of hard plastics they, they, but but oh. but, but, they, but but they're nice you know um you have one i think of i a, think if you're going to be off-roading yeah i would rather have some hard plastics than too many softs well, you're I gonna, think they're easier to clean. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to have gear that, you know, could be sliding around and stuff. It's good. It may scratch the plastic, which is, eh, you're like, eh, no big deal. But if it scratches the, the leather or the rubberized material, then it kind of cuts it, and that just kind of leads to more things. But the view, I, I swear, I feel like I'm <coughs> sitting in a semi. The way yeah, it's, I was going to say the same thing. Is. I didn't use the word, but... You really sit out. <laughs> you, how are you going to say the same thing? I was. Use those we words. Both apart. I said, I feel like I feel like I'm a semi. I'm, like, I'm not going to say that. Oh, okay. I'm going to say, I just feel like I'm sitting really up, you know, up high. But yeah. you do. You have a yeah. com commanding view. Yep. There's a slight bulge in, in the hood in the front. I like that power dome um, hood. But it doesn't... Uh, it's a non-functioning power dome. Right. But it doesn't block your view because it's right in the center and you can still see you can the corners. still see on the sides. Yeah. The steering wheel is nice and thick and padded. I like that. You got the, the uh, points out for the uh, thumbs to rest. Got a nice open middle in the center of the bottom of the steering wheel. I, I do like that. And we're cruising right along at about... 66 68 and it's um, comfortable yeah it, it, it very a lot of leg room yeah, oh yeah I got uh, probably about six inches to my from my knees to the dashboard and are you and that leaves plenty of room for the people in back are you all the way back in your seat or not no no oh, okay no. oh, oh no. yeah but so you're comfortable where you're at and you're no seat. I've got like another Okay, so now I have like a foot. Oh my gosh, yeah, you do. Between my knees and yep. the, yeah, that's like too far. And you still got lots of room in the back. I feel like I'm sitting in the back, but I'm in the front. Right. Oh boy, and even, oh, you feel that? Even over these yep. these bumps and, and It's uh, very, a, a very muted, yeah. muted muted feeling. Muted. Muted. All right, and so here we go. I'm going to do it back even further. Oh boy, wow. Oh my gosh, this, does it ever... No, it goes I have way my back. Legs, I have my legs straight out now. <laughs> I have them straight out. I've gone that far back. Um, so, yeah, I mean, holy cow, you don't even need that much room. You could get a nine-footer in here. Some of these uh, NBA players could fit in this vehicle very comfortably, I'm pretty sure. Lots of headroom yet, and you got all that leg room. You know, I like that, that you know, those 270 horses are, I think, just enough. If, you know, i got just enough to feel like you're getting up and going. Right. Not a pot set, that's for sure. No. Boy, All boy, right. boy. 
Second gear, and I gotta, I gotta let off the accelerator. Boy, oh boy. Are you all the way up now? Fifth? No, I'm not in fifth. But that was just second gear. I had, to, I had to let off. I was uh, getting close to going over the speed limit. Wow. So. I like it. But that's fun. I like it. Of, you got big long windows, and they're they're big square windows. Mm -hmm. and I like that because I was just looking on the back uh, as well. So if you're sitting in the back, you don't feel like you're in a cavern. You've got just as much light and just as much visibility as you do up front. And I like the windshield. It's kind. Of, it looks from the inside. It looks like it's a big rectangular flat windshield, like a another off-road brand has. Um, so it kind of reminds me of that. But it gives you such a field of vision that it's just it's phenomenal. Yeah, it does. It's really good vision. A lot of light. A lot of good sight lines in here. That's called the sunlight, Rob. Which, well, but it, the sight lines are important if you're off-roading because you want to see where the trees are. You want to see where the rocks are. To, to you don't want to see the cliff. Yeah, you do. You don't want to go over it. <laughs> you want to see it before you get to it. <laughs> Am I there yet? Am I there yet? <laughs> right. Oop, too far. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you didn't see it in the video, this, this truck is black. But there's a blue metallic flake in it that's beautiful. But uh, if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little uh, bell at the top. Oh. And you'll see in the bottom corner of our video, uh, the lower right corner, there's a subscribe button. All you got to do while you're watching the video is just click on that button and subscribe. Uh, and then watch our other videos as well. But when you do click on that bell, you will get notifications of when we post new videos. And if you enjoyed what you saw here today, you know, subscribe and uh, like us, two guys that are right. So, and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Nathan, if you did you mention this, Nathan? I did not. We do have a uh, Tumblr as well, and Nathan writes on our blog there. Okay, so have you picked out your favorite thing? I have. Okay. I have, I have, I have. Is it the same as mine? Yes. <laughs> Having no idea what it is. <laughs> having no idea of yours, I'm pretty sure. All right, so my favorite thing on this vehicle is the crawl mode. Okay, so my favorite uh, thing of this vehicle is the power rear window, and I'll give you a shot of that right now. There we are, and back up. I love it. love it oh my gosh i love this vehicle holy cow i gotta honestly say while nathan was doing a tour of the inside i was walking the lot shopping all the other ones that are on the lot <laughs> it's a good thing you drove today or we might trade my car in and drive trade. home in one of these ah, uh, that, that'd be okay <laughs> oh boy uh, did you bring your checkbook i left mine at home in my car you drove today so yeah, i drove uh, can today. i use yours Oh, sure. Card. Sure. What's 60,000? Right. No, 50,000. This one's what is this 47. retail for? 47. 47 wow, and change. I got, that, I got that in my wallet. You want that in ones or fives? Pennies. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, he's one of these guys that knows everything with technology. I'm one of those that when I buy it, like I said, I forget by the time I get home.